Earth signs, general message. Welcome back to the channel. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We're here at the park. Post Christmas. Got some atmosphere for you in the background. <laughs> but enjoy the message. We have messages coming in. Um, early morning, man. Reminiscent of the morning star messages. We'll get to it. Like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel so that we can continue to grow. Allow the message to spread. Let's get the show on the road, Earth Sign. See what the message is. All right, so grounding this reading for the Earth Signs, we have we got Ten of Wands. This could be releasing burdens or a lot of physical activity here. Could be traveling as well. Could be a lot of people as well. There's a could be group activity or group traveling. Some type of travel agent could be but definitely um i see physical activity maybe some type of gym membership i am channeling basketballers as well so that could be on uh that could be on topic could be sports is what i'm getting we got scorpio energy coming in here death and rebirth transformation spiritual knowledge or know-how a passing in between realms it could be so uh, maybe a literal death or some type of spiritual death or a concept or an idea of death, putting down a pen and picking up a pen. Yeah, the seven of swords. So you could be writing something or someone could be writing something. This could be a eulogy or some type of uh, obituary. This could be some type of dark or morbid book. But with Scorpio energy coming in, I'm getting research here. So it could be some type of a traveling researcher here. Or someone's hiding something. This is typically known as a um, the card of uh, selfishness. Uh, Tiptoeing around a situation. Now someone may know how to move around a situation. We could have a nimble or a light on their foot um, athlete here. Mm. Could be uh, okay. So what I'm what I'm getting here for the Earth sign is someone's gonna need to be working on their health here. This may have something to do with uh, generational curses, some type of play on karma or dharma here. Maybe strokes, heart attacks, um, those types of things that run in the family, releasing generational curses and generational burdens here that cause uh, very difficult health situations here. So that's a very specific message for someone. Other messages are the devil card we have coming in here. Temptations. Addicted to drugs, alcohol, sex, monies, uh, karmic relationships. Um, this could also be, yeah, definitely some type of generational curse affecting someone's lineage. Now, this could be spiritual know-how. Someone knowing um, the difference between right and wrong. Typically with the devil, and there are upside down and right side up uh, messages of the devil. But uh, sometimes people don't really know when they're now. We're all you people claim to be adults at some point, and we're all human. So sometimes you don't really know. Like you can't really see a car crash coming. You can't really foresee a bank robbery or something like that. You know, everyone getting into finances, money being a distraction. But there's also times when people have spiritual knowledge or spiritual know-how and they know exactly when they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Um, awareness of some sorts. But we have Capricorn energy coming in, Major Arcana. We have the wheel, wheel of fortune. So this has to be some type of choice or some type of option or some type of, um, uh, what are we getting? Are we getting karma? We're getting universal energies. Um, it's like the universe is throwing darts at your situation here. Or someone's um, someone's not prepared for something here. Seven of Swords. What are the other messages we're getting? We're getting Four of Wands. So it could be some type of family or some type of a relationship. A grounded bird. It's leaping towards me like some type of rabbit too. Okay. Well, uh, four of one is typically known as grounding yourself in a relationship for the most part. Uh, this could be some type of, um, mm, I would say foundation. 
some type of foundations or some form of grounding oneself uh, physically. This could be a romantic relationship. Not 100% uh, sure here. Let's get more messages. We get Queen of Swords energy. Libra energy coming in here. Great discernment. Could be a second opinion or some type of therapist or psychologist here. Again, this could be research and development. Could be writing things down, journaling. Cancer with death and rebirth. Uh, could deal in the dream world. Could be keeping a dream journal as well. What else we get here for the earth signs? Hmm. As soon as I started channeling dreams, we get the daydreamer here. We get the dancer here. We get the singer, the artist here. Uh, we get the hanged man, the hanged woman, the hanged one. Okay, this bird is getting closer and closer and closer. Man, he's so small. He's like the size of a friggin' grape. A friggin' grape with wings. <laughs> well, it would be, have to be a, a, a large grape. Wow, he's literally, he has yellow on him. The bird, wow, I've never seen birds get this close to people. Um, seeing this card, this guy's kneeling down in the grass, which would be me, and the bird is literally right next to him. The bird is literally like right up on me right now. This is how close this bird is up on me right now. He's so close that I can see his underbelly and that he has yellow uh, feathers in his underbelly. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but we have the hangman, dreams and visions. This could be psychic potential and psychic ability. We do see in some bedtime stories and some Disney movies that uh, the Disney princess could sing to the birds and the birds would uh, sing back towards her and there would be some type of energy exchange. So um, what is this, my shamanism kicking in at this point in the reading? Earth signs dealing very heavy in the earth aspect as well. This is a, um, hmm. Not really picking up negativity here, but this is a resting of the emotions at this time. So in other words, this could be freedom from a relationship. This could be a resting moment uh, in a relationship. Um, what are we getting? We're getting four of wands and four of uh, cups and then death and rebirth. 13 in numerology one plus three is four so we're getting four 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 this is some type of structure or some type of grounding relationship that's taking a resting moment could be some type of uh, couples counsel or couples therapy with the wheel of fortune coming in this could also be some type of um this could be some type of couples retreat regrounding uh situation here may have to may have something to do with celebrities here with the wheel of fortune the hangman jesus was a celebrity of his day we have the fool. We have the fool taking a leap of faith. Um, now, I would say I would like people to take rest in between relationships, but when you know, you know. I mean, I just literally saw the movie The Matrix, and uh, spoilers um, someone was in a relationship and they immediately jumped into another relationship. Although it was The Matrix, <laughs> it was a fake relationship. You know, being people put things into our head to make us believe that we're supposed to uh, partake in these things at life. Like someone told us, I guess it has something to do with legacy and lean. And someone told us that we have to have children. Someone told us that we have to go out and get a nine to five job. People program these things into our mind. Devil energy. Um, what do you call us? A marionette. So that's what I'm getting here. See them controlling the person's... Um, Wow, this bird is not, not leaving me. What else do we have? But yeah, we have the full Aries, divine masculine, taking action, maybe trying something new. Could be trying a new relationship. Could be trying a new spirituality here with uh, the death and rebirth. Ending of an old cycle, ending of an old religion or an old system of belief and delving into something new here. Um, what do you have? The Wheel of Fortune. A lucky streak here another major arcana so this is a major life lesson or a major shift in the way that you're thinking the way that you're believing the way that you're experiencing the world around you um this is nurturing energy mother energy we go through cycles throughout our lives we go through seasons there's a season for particular relationships or for particular peoples and ideas to come into your peripheral and then these uh things are meant to teach us something here a challenging moment Capricorn energy, uh, divine wisdom or earthly interpretation of uh, divinity.
Again, we're all pretty much closer to the devil down here in the earth plane than we would like to believe because all we care about is money and love and other distracting things and we haven't reached our fullest potential because we are so distracted with what's going on around us. Typically the matrix here, which would be hangman, you even see it here. She's uh, falling into something here, which would look like a paradigm or an algorithm. The only thing she has is her faith. Uh, let's see, closing out the reading, we have for major arcanas. But yeah, some type of long journey. It could be some type of pr passion project that you're into if it's not some type of a relationship. You're second guessing some type of passion project here. The second guessing is coming in here with the Seven of Swords. You're unsure, dancing around the situation, or people are uh, timid. You have timid followers. Now, uh, you can let the opinions of others turn you into a follower or a leader. This bird is still here. <laughs> All right, Major Arcanas, we have Death and Rebirth, dealing with a Scorpio, dealing with uh, Investigation. Dealing with magic, tinctures, elixirs. Could be dealing with the literal death or birth of a child. Second major arcana, we have Capricorn here. Dealing in an earthly plane. Uh, dealing in... Um, not, doesn't, doesn't necessarily always have to be toxic energy. But uh, spiritual know-how and uh, being able to deflect karmic efforts away from you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Um, getting destiny or fate here. Choice, options. The ability to uh, see through the mundane and take on your celebrity moments here. This could also be travel as well. It's the universe throwing you a bone. Maybe uh, deja vu. Sort of like a glitch in the Matrix. Now I'm using all these references because I just recently watched the Matrix movie. Uh, so that's three major arcana. The fourth would be the hangman, Pisces energy. Dreams and visions. This could also be foresight, psychic potential. Fifth major arcana, the fool, Aries, taking a leap of faith. You know, being a, okay, I'm getting head start. Being an initiate or taking the initiative on certain concepts and ideas could be being the leader in the situation instead of being the follower. Then we have the moon card, nurturing, a nurturing mother or a nurturing father, or you're nurturing an, an idea. You're manifesting something here. There's great creativity and passion I see here in this reading, but someone is resting upon their laurels or someone's second guessing themselves or having second thoughts about something. They're even um, going through a resting period here. Could be refusing relationships. It could be a distraction at this time, a devil card. Transmuting something. But we have six major arcana. Um, it could be a victorious moment coming in here as long as you pay very close attention to the details. Um, I'm again okay. I release iniquities. Iniquities are some are something that we carry in a spirit with us, sort of like guilt and envy, all these different types of feelings um, that people have here. Pisces energy, but get a uh, you may be. Um, I'm not sure if you're getting a second opinion from a loved one or uh, a relationship. You're trying to get a third person perspective on uh, relationship ideas. Um, but continue to ground yourself. The, uh, the message will come to you in the long run. It's about the journey. It's about taking that leap of faith and then you edit as you go. But that's all I have for you, Earth Signs, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, catch you on the next one. Peace. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel.